What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about is it worth to summon for Zhongli or should you summon for Zhongli? Now up front, I want to talk to y'all real quick. I want to talk to y'all, I want to tell y'all about my boy because Zhongli is my favorite character, if you guys don't know. Um, and I, you know, on release when he first came out, even before the buffs, I, I, I had to get him. Now, Zhongli, just up front, Zhongli's a character that can fit on any account. He is a support that can fit on any team. He is a one-man army. You don't have to have any outside forces, and he will work. So up front, if you're asking if I, you should summon for Zhongli or get Zhongli, I feel like every person in the game should have a copy of Zhongli. Now, let me tell you a couple of reasons why. Number one, he has the strongest shield in the game, right? On top of him having the strongest shield in the game, it's number one it scales off HP and he has the second highest base HP in the game with G the first highest being Hu Tao I believe um, he has the strongest shield in the game the shield duration is 20 seconds the cooldown is 12 seconds so you can have shield your shield uptime 100% of the time right uh, not to mention his ultimate scales off of HP well not all of all the way but um, his ultimate, his E, and his auto attacks all have HP scaling. So if you build it up full HP, you'll be perfectly fine, right? So if you look right here, normal attack, charge attack, plunge attack, increased by 1.39% of max HP. His E, press, and hold are increased by 1.9% of his max HP. And his ultimate is increased by 33% of his max HP. So if you build him full HP, which I have him a triple HP right now, perfectly fine so very 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 easy to build right it doesn't take a rocket scientist to build hp that's all you got to build on him um his shield has something called fortification or fortify every time it's attacked or your shield gets hit it increases its shield strength by five percent up to five times and this is on any character doesn't matter what character's out you could have eula out you could have gene out it doesn't matter fortification activates because it's a jade shield so on top of him having the strongest shield in the game the shield is even stronger and it's like between him being not needing a team he can work by himself having the strongest shield in the game the shield uptime is longer than the cooldown between him having hp scaling so he's super easy to build like if you guys want to see my artifacts i have on two piece archaic petra two piece tenacity just look at this hp percent hp base hp percent hp percent hp base this is geo damage with hp hp like and then i have him on hp percent i'm literally running him full hp because it works uh but on top of all of that right if like if that wasn't enough for you his shield when when the jade shield is active all nearby enemies are stripped of 20 percent of their resistance from all elements cryo pyro geo physical everything it's 20 percent reduction by all nearby enemies so not only is he a tank for your team he now becomes a um a support for your team as well on top of his ultimate can petrify so the really big enemies um you know that you're trying to wombo combo or whatever he could petrify them or even if it's smaller enemies he can petrify them and then you can combo with zhao or whoever else you want to do super low energy cost like if y'all can't tell how excited i am about this character i don't know what to tell you but like I, since i've got him he's not got off my team right i've even went so far as to get his weapon maxed out to r5 get his constellations out to c6 and this is the only character i've done this for and i know some people are going to say oh well ds i know you're saying he's really good but maybe you're only saying he's good because you have his constellations or his weapon no when I first got him, I used him at C0, right? I maxed him out, used him at C0. He is still amazing. And then they buffed him. So still at C0, he's amazing. Like, 
Trust me when I tell you. If you like, if you don't trust anything else, I say. C zero Zhongli, minimal investment is still amazing for any team. Any team. If you're if you're running Eula, which I run Eula. If you're running Eula, she she does physical damage. Zhongli shields buff her physical damage. If you're running, you know. Uh, Ayaka, he buffs cryo damage. He is a character that can work completely by himself, and he can buff any element, and he can keep all your units alive. He's so good. Keep in mind, he, he's so good, they made a mechanic in the game to counter him. Just him. They put corrosion in the game, because if you guys, how corrosion works, if you get hit, your HP starts depleting. They did this because shield meta was so strong because of Zhongli. So just to let you guys know, he he literally is so good, they had to make a mechanic in the game for bosses to counter him. And that is exactly why you see Barbara on my team, right? Uh, Barbara's just a placeholder, placeholder for Kakomi. And the reason why is because, if you guys don't know, I've recently fell in love with Eula. So I've been running a Eula Shinha comp. And uh, I want to have some freezes in there. So, uh, you know, I have Barbara here for healing and freezes. Once I get Kakomi, I will use Kakomi. But that's not to say Zhongli's not good. Zhongli is still amazing. Most of the bosses don't even use Corrosion. And even if the bosses do use Corrosion, the shielding is still going to help you take less damage. Not to mention, um, the Petrify is amazing as well. All of these things, like you, minimal weapons, you don't have to use. Like, Vortex Vanquisher is not even that good for him right because the shield strength is only for him it doesn't work for anyone else it gives him attack percent main stat and then the passive gets attack percent so like this weapon i only use this weapon on him because it's his weapon i think aesthetics over you know um aesthetics over you know stats and stuff like that because for the record i do have staff of homa i do have primordial jade and i also have a second primordial jade and i still use his weapon so that just goes to show even though his weapon's bad it still works right so uh and one of the reasons why the weapon works is because um if you build him triple hp or hp percents you're not going to be critting right i have 26 percent crit rate and that's just because that you know i rolled a little bit of crit rate i have some crit damage I don't care if he crits or not, um, because his shield, his ultimate scales off of HP and attack percent. So with him not critting, me running this much attack percent is fine because his ult will be, my ult still hits for like 50k with no crits, right? And if I crit, it'll hit 90k, 100k or 88k, something like that. So it's like, and I, I don't even care to crit. I'm running him as a shield bot and then he can also do some damage. Uh, even though he's not critting. That's how I'm running my Zhongli. Um, so, just to let you guys know, I do have his best in slot. And I, I refuse to use it just because he doesn't need it to be uh, as amazing as he is. You can also use weapons like Favonius Lance if you want to run him as a full support energy recharge. And then once he crits, he will give you know the team some uh, orbs. You're going to run him with a Lithic Spear, which is going to give him attack percents and crit rate. If you're running him with leeway units, you don't want to run him with this one because element of mastery. But there is a um, the prototype spear with, that gives him energy recharge. You can run him with that. Uh, there is a three star spear called the Black Tassel, I believe, that gives HP main stat or whatever. That is a really, really good option for him. But anyways, the Black Tassel is uh, a really good weapon. Gives him HP on the main stat. Gives him a, uh, and then the pass is pretty good too. So, like, you can build him with almost anything. Almost anything you want, you can build him, and he works perfectly fine. Like, if you, like I'm telling you guys, get this man. Obviously, it's up to you, but if you're asking me, get the character. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.